guys and welcome back to Simply Forex, the channel dedicated to you, the trader. We want you to be successful in the markets. So guys, I'm going to give you some gold every day. I'm going to let you know which currency pairs I'm looking to trade and which direction. And I'm also going to let you know which news that you must be aware of. If you like these vids, then please subscribe to the channel and like and share. So let's take a look at the chart and what I'm potentially going to trade today. Top of the morning to your traders. How are you? It is Thursday the 7th of April um, and I would love to know how your trades went yesterday guys. So please just leave me a message uh, on the comments below and let me know how your trading is going. Um, right, guys, uh, as always, we're going to start with a recap, a look back at yesterday's trades. We had three potential trades from yesterday. The first one was this. This is the euro against the Swiss franc. Um, and as you can see, guys, we were taking this shorter because price had been in a downtrend. It had come up. It created this low here. Okay. So we wasn't sure exactly what was going to happen. It didn't make a new high, but then it broke this low with this candle here. Okay. And then we had followed by another negative candle. All right. So because it broke this low, we were just trying to take price down to this blue line. And we had two negative daily candles. Okay. So yeah, we're trying to short this market. Let's look at H1 to see what actually happened. Um, so as you can see, guys, price didn't do anything at our first grey zone. Yeah, totally ignored it and zoomed up up to this grey zone here, guys. All right, up to this one here. And then as you can see, guys, we had a very clear bearish engulfing candlestick pattern. And this was our trigger to take this price lower. All right, very clear bearish entry candle okay so i entered on the close of this candle i put my stop above the entry candle and i have already closed 80 percent of my trade at 0150 yeah it's a psychological level um and it was becoming you know towards the end of the trading day so i took some nice profit on this trade i closed 80 percent and i'm still in this trade for 20 percent and looking at the daily chart, I still think we can come back down and hit our higher time frame target down here, guys. All right. So, yeah, a great trade, guys. A clear entry candle and nice profit to be had. OK, that was the first trade from yesterday, guys. The second one was this. This was the New Zealand uh, dollar against the Swiss franc. So we were seeing some Swiss franc strength. Um, let's go on the weekly candle just to show you. Uh, the diagonal uh, diagonal resistance. So this is the weekly chart, guys. And as you can see, this diagonal resistance, and we had this very bearish candle, engulfing candlestick pattern form. Yeah, and this gives me all the confidence to take this lower. Okay, uh, if we go back to the day chart, also what gives me the confidence is this, is the structure. Yeah, it was once in an uptrend, Okay, but because of these lows here, yeah, these lows here and here, these were broken with this candle. Okay, so the structure had changed. So we were looking for, uh, a, well, we're now in a downtrend and we were looking for shorts. And as you can see, price reacted at these last highs here. Okay, so we're just trying to take this lower. All right, guys, and as you can see, that's exactly what happened. But let's look at H1 for execution. Um, so as you can see, guys, yeah, price come up into our grey zone as we anticipated. We had this candle, OK, but this red bearish candle. But for me, it didn't tell me sellers were in control. This is more of an inside candle. It's inside the previous uh, green bullish candle okay so I didn't enter on that one I actually entered on this one yeah this tells me sellers are in control it's a it's a bearish engulfing candle so I entered on the close of this I put my stop above here and first of all 
Remember guys, our first target is always the last H1 low or high. So I got out at this price here, guys, this last low here. Okay, so I've closed 80% of my trade here and I am still in this trade for 20%. And as you can see, this low has been taken out. Okay, so this is a good sign that price could bounce up and then come lower. Okay, so yeah, another great trade, guys. I hope you took this trade and we're still in 20% of the trade as well. Okay, um, third trade was this. This was the euro against the Canadian dollar. So it took forever to get up to our grey zone and then eventually we had this candle but this does not tell me that sellers are in control guys okay it's too close to looking like a doji and we had this you know quite bullish candle before it okay so i didn't enter here i didn't enter this trade guys yeah even these red candles here this still tells me that sellers are not in control really okay so although it came up to our gray zone i never got a trigger to take this lower all right so i didn't enter this trade all right guys so those were the three trades from yesterday i also left you with a question which was this this was the euro against the us dollar my question was this you know price came up came up created a new low here came up again but then price broke and we had broke this low yeah and then we had a bearish candle form okay so why didn't i want to take this price just back down to these lows here okay that was the question some of you guys said oversold i reckon if you put up the st uh, statistics uh, indicator um this would not say oversold yeah it's quite close to the moving average 20. um the reason i didn't take it was simply this yeah we need to look at the higher time frames guys all right so we've got the weekly chart here and as you can see if i was to plot um some support it would be here i would take the wick okay i would take the wick of this candle here yeah that is all an area of support okay so that's the only reason i didn't take it it was i wouldn't sell into this support here okay because price could just have a massive reaction all right guys so yeah that was the recap of the free trades and we also looked at yesterday's questions let's now look at today's potential trades Guys, if you enjoyed yesterday's recap and the question, then please smash that like button. Really helps support the channel. And why not subscribe? Come and join us. Um, right, guys, potential trades for today. It's going to feel like a little bit like deja vu. Um, we've got two potential trades today. And the first one is this. This is the euro against the Swiss franc. As all my regular viewers know, we've been shorting this uh, all week. And the reason for this, guys, is this, okay? So, it, yeah, it was in a downtrend. It came up. It formed this low. So, we wasn't sure what was going to happen. It didn't create a new high. And then it came down and broke this low, okay? And we had this red candle followed by another uh, bearish candle, okay? So, these were the reasons to take this lower to this blue line here, okay? Um, and what gives me, although yesterday was a green candle, we also had this large wick that rejected this last area of support and now resistance. So I still think, yeah, we have room to the downside. Um, so yeah, we're still trying to short the Euro Swiss franc, guys. If we look at the H1, um, so a, a couple of things can happen, guys. So price could retrace back up to this high here okay so retrace into this gray zone yeah and then we're looking for a bearish candlestick pattern to form yeah and then we'll come back down we'll close 80 percent of our trade at this last low this is always our first target okay and then we'll leave 20 percent on the trade to carry on down to our higher time frame target Okay, so that's one scenario that could happen. 
Um, if that doesn't happen, guys, price could do this. So it'll come back down. Yeah, it might test this area and then it will eventually break this gray zone, this last low. OK, then it will come back up, test the gray zone. Yeah, we want to see a bearish candlestick pattern form and then we can take price lower to our higher time frame target. OK, so yeah, two scenarios with this trade. OK, but Euro Swiss franc, we continue to short this market. OK, uh, the next one is this. This is the New Zealand dollar against the Swiss franc. So again, we've been shorting this since yesterday and we got this this oh sorry guys we got this bearish candle form as well with a large wick bouncing off of these highs okay so that gives us more confluence to take this shorter yeah if you remember rightly these last lows were taken out with this candle so the structure has changed okay and it's bouncing off of these highs which also corresponds with the diagonal support, sorry, the diagonal resistance on the weekly chart. All right, so we just want to take this market down to this last low here, okay, at this psychological level of 6,400. Okay, so we're looking to short this market, guys. Let's look at H1 for execution. Um, so, yeah, so what's most likely to happen, guys, because we've broke these lows here, yeah, we've broken these lows, okay? So what price might do is just retrace into this grey zone, and then we want to see a bearish candlestick pattern form, okay? That's always our trigger, and then we will take price back down to this low if we get a risk to reward of one is to one we will close 80 percent of the trade if we don't we will let the full hundred percent run down to our higher time frame target okay if that doesn't happen guys then price could retrace all the way back up into this gray zone okay and test these highs again all right and then we want to see a bearish candlestick pattern form and again we'll take price we'll take price down to this last lows here and close 80 percent of the trade and then we could leave 20 percent to run down to our higher time frame target okay guys so yeah they're the two trade ideas for today seeing a bit of swiss franc strength um yeah let's take a look at the news now Guys, if you're enjoying this daily morning analysis and would like to receive it every single day, Monday to Friday, then please subscribe to the channel and smash that notification button. That way you'll get an alert every single morning and won't miss a single one. Okay, guys, so the news for today is quite a light news day today. So there was nothing overnight, uh, no three star ratings. If we carry on down, we have a quite a light morning session in terms of news. Um, the only two pieces of news that we're interested in today, guys, are these. At 11.30, coming out of the Euro, the European Central Bank is publishing its monetary policy. Well, the meeting, in fact. So this could move any Euro pair, okay, depending on what is uh, published. Uh, and then at 12.30, coming out of the US, we have initial jobless claims. So this could affect any US dollar pair. And as you can see, guys, for the rest of the day, there's no other three-star ratings of interest. All right, guys, so a light news day. Guys, yeah, so if you've enjoyed the vid, please subscribe, like, and share. Um, I hope you have a stupendous trading day, and I will see you tomorrow. Adios.